Alex is blowing my phone up here, though, so I'm about to call him. Now he pulled the old, hold the $30,000, our guy's not coming to you tonight. Well, if that's the case, then I don't have to, I can put my $30,000 back in the safe, and we can just take care of this at the bank tomorrow. So it's time to get him all spun up now. This is going to be fun. At this point now, I'm running him around in circles, trying to get him to grasp the fact that even though Lenny's old and he's he confuses easily, he's starting to tire of you lying. Let's Text him on text now. Just yeah. to say, I'm back in New York, and I'm available Perfect. to go, go, go pick the money up. Okay, he, he responded to the last message I said to him, which was loyalty is the most important thing, Alex. Your picker is not loyal, bro. Bros over hoes. Then he says, listen, you can't convince me to trust you, never. You didn't make the drop, stop lying. You want to make the money while nothing yep. is why i get nothing done i'm not stupid keep the 50 but you will not use me to make anything more use your own skills oh this so now just picks him. hey i'm back in new york I, you got to trust me on this one i'm willing to pick it up for you that'll work try that rose before hose man rose before hose. let's see how he acts oh alex you ignorant hello mr lenny <sighs> Are you ready to conduct yourself professionally? Oh, come on, man. Are we going to be cursing out each other again? Did I curse you? I asked you if you're ready to conduct yourself professionally. I'm ready to do business. Are you ready to do business? Well, I've been ready considering I've made a whole lot of payments toward this thing. Are we getting this done today or not? Yes, we're getting this done today. Okay. Um, Listen, what I want you to do, just confirm something for me, because I'm you, not my people. Listen to what I'm saying. Just be quiet. And this no. is the reason why we always have to be having this out. Listen to me. Because I'm not resending I, you yeah. shit that I've already sent you. You have my address. It's on all the banking paperwork I sent to you. I don't want the fucking thing couriered anyway. You're going to have your people hand it to me when the time comes. Okay? Now. All right, listen to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm just verifying this. Your address is 704. Yes. Awaver Street, Astra, New York, 11105. That's your house address, right? So we can yes. mail the debit card there. But we're not going to mail the debit card. I'm going to pick the debit card up. No, I'm mailing the debit card to you. I'm mailing the debit card to you. Okay, let's put that so you aside. Still have the 30, 000, you still have the 30000 at your house with you right now as well, right? Have I made any payments? I just want to know that you have the money. I yes, I have the money, you, Alex. I will talk to you about the payment. But I just want to make sure that I have the address correctly to mail the card out. So that's 704. He already did that. It's confirmed. Now. Let's get to the fucking payment. Listen, we will not talk about any payments. As I stated, I need to ensure it's uh, your 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 street address is seven zero four H A V. How many times are you gonna ask me the same fucking question? The address has been confirmed. When do we make this payment and get this done? Listen to me, you listen. Don't get me upset. Do not get me upset. All right? I'm doing my job. <sighs> <laughs> he really butchered your address. Twice. <laughs> and oh, he came so close to telling you off. Well, and, and, and I just I just bounced him. I hung up on him. How did he pronounce Astoria? He, he couldn't. I'd have to hear it again. He couldn't pronounce Astoria. He couldn't pronounce it. Howard. What I'm afraid of with these guys is the Google in my address, and he's going to find out it's a fake. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. So let me see if I can get him off that and keep him focused on the 30. Mr. Lenny. All right. Are you ready to get this business done? I'm ready to get the business done, but if you do not listen to me, if you who, do not listen to me. Who is picking listen. this up, and when are we doing it? I can say. Why not? Officer Connolly is coming over to see you in an hour. He is? Yes, and he will explain the whole situation. When did you talk to him? <laughs> That's what I've been doing for the past hour. You've been on the phone with Officer O'Connell for the last hour? That's what I've been trying to tell you, and that's why I told you. He instructed me to send you the card, and he will be over in an hour. So just remain calm, and I will get back to you. When he gets there, he's going to call me, and he's going to call you and let you know that he's outside. 
Really? Yes, because we're trying to fix the whole problem here. Well, now and I know. He, now I know you're full of shit because he is not in town until he doesn't get back until tomorrow. He's on vacation. You're telling me shit because he just texted me and told me to call him, and I called him, and I was talking to him, and he said he's coming over because I told him the situation of me trying to get this done, and you're talking to someone else, which is telling you they're my agent and they're the one picking up the money. So he said that he's coming over to sit there and to make sure anytime my agent get there, it's the right person. So okay. shut the hell up and do not tell me anything. So why don't we do it this way then, okay? Because you didn't even ask me if I'm at home. Why don't we have your agent meet with me tomorrow at Ms. Agent Connolly's office? We already arranged for them to meet up now. And if you're not going to let this happen now, I'm just going to forget. I'm just going to just go ahead and forget about it. So, so you're telling you. me that you're telling me that your your agent is going to meet Agent Connolly at my house in an hour. I just said to you one thing. You need to tell me if you're okay with it, or if I'm just supposed to just cancel it and just forget about everything. Well, if you're, telling, if you're telling me that's what's going to happen, I can be home in the, about an hour, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. I need, I need your agent's name and phone number so I know that I'm talking to the right fucking person. I will not give you my agent's name because Officer O'Connelly knows who is coming to meet you, and he's going to be there. You just need to know that Officer O'Connor is going to be there as well. That's how simple. Interesting. So you're not going right. to send me the agent that I'm meeting with name and you expect me to hand $30,000 to him? You're not going to hand 30000 to him. You're going to give Officer Ocano the money and Officer Ocano is going to hand my agent the money. That's to make sure that the payment does get made. Okay? Well, that sounds... Uh... Yeah, I know what you're going to say. If you think I was playing around, I'm not playing around. I want this done. I am sick and tired of running back and forth. Well, so am I. And I'm really, I'm just concerned that you're not telling me the man's name that's coming to my house. What if he gets there before Agent O'Connell? He's not going to get there before O'Connell because O'Connell and him will be doing the pickup at the same time. So that means if anyone shows up before Officer O'Connell and my guy, I did not send them. So do not give them any money. Okay. I have I have Agent O'Connell's cell phone. Call him. Um, Lenny, listen to me. If you're gonna let this happen, do what I tell you to do. And well, I'm playing around. I'm not playing games, man. I, I, Get back to your house and wait for Mr. O'Connell and my agent, please. Well, hold on, hold on a second. I can't find where I put his card. Um, he gave me his card and he gave me his personal cell phone. All right, listen to what I'm saying. I will send you his number, get back to the house, please. Well, I have Agent O'Connell's number. Listen, Lenny, I guess you you think this is some kind of joke. Have a good I'm night, just trying Lenny. to protect myself here, man. You're telling me that the last people you sent to pick up money at the bank picked up the money, but you never got it. That's what, that's what I'm being told here. Now you're telling me that the FBI agent that, as far as I know, is on vacation and told me he wouldn't be back until tomorrow is going to be at my house in an hour. I haven't heard from him, and you won't give me your agent's phone number or name. I told you, I will not give you my people's name. You noticed a while ago, I gave you my people's name, and by the time I got off the phone with you, someone could call you and tell you they are my people and tell you who they are, and they're the ones coming to pick up money, when I did not tell anybody to call you. Do you think I'm stupid? Listen, Lenny, get the fuck off my phone right now. You're getting me upset. Get off the phone. You are one unprofessional human being. <laughs> <laughs> where the hell is he going with this? <laughs> well, I know where he's going. Here's the reality. He's telling me that my his agent, you know, that his agent's going to be there with Agent O'Connell in within an hour. If that was a real address, he'd be sending his boys there to come see me. Well, here's the reality. If it, this whole thing was real, it would have never gotten to this level because day one with the FBI, he would have been like, the fuck is this? God, this guy's an idiot. So what's he going to say? He, he's not dumb enough to fucking have one of his buddies pretend to fucking be me, is he? I don't know. If you now want to drive him a little more crazy, I would be the one calling you to say, hey, I'm on the way. I was sent by Mr. Alexander. 
<laughs> Definitely call Connolly at some point. Yeah, you know, be like, Mr. Wilkerson, it's New Year's Day. Like, yeah. I'm not even in New York. What What are you doing? Yeah, yes. all, all on my phone. You're like, oh, I, I heard that Alex Alexander was sending me, you know, my house. Excuse me? Like, run that by me again, please? God, he's an idiot. Uh, who do you think, uh, you think I'm stupid? That's who I've been talking to this whole time. Yeah, you think I'm stupid? Yes. Just like when Charles says, do you think I'm a fool? Yes. <laughs> yes. You want me dead? Yes. Well, he totally self-baited himself. I'm going to call him back and tell him that I'm not comfortable if I don't know who's coming to my house. We're looking like, for Miss Lenny to collect some money. Lenny. Alex. Why are you giving us fake address? I'm not. I didn't give you a fake address. It's where I fucking live. I just tried to reach Agent O'Connell, and uh, I got his voicemail. He's not answering. Alex, you're not saying anything. Alex. He might know it's fake, but I doubt he knows who Archie Bunker is. Well, but if they Googled it, it comes up. He might just be looking on it and be like, it's nowhere on the map. Tell him it's a new uh, it's a new subdivision out there. It's new houses. Tell him it's a new subdivision. Yo, what's going on, man? Uh, like I told you, like I messaged you, man, I'm back in New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I have the time right now. I can run and, and grab it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm willing to help you out, Alex. That's... Let's, let's do this. Let's do this, Alex. I know how much you need this, and I want to help you out as soon as, as much, man. We brothers. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll try his other number for you, too. And I know that they're going to try to send someone over to pretend just as how they did the other day. So guess what? Uh, we, changed the li we changed the appointment for tomorrow. Okay, good. Then I don't have to worry about this $30,000. We can just meet at the bank and we can get it all done and I don't have to make any second payments or anything along those lines. We're not meeting at the bank. Why did you tell me Officer O'Connor uh, 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 O'Con was going to be here tonight when I called him? I just sent you the voicemail he left me. He has not heard from you and he is still on holiday vacation with his family why are you not listening to me why are you going behind my back and doing stuff i did that because i wanted to scare the people away that are listening on the phone call oh and i just screwed it up didn't i you screwed up everything that's why i'm telling you to shut up and you keep just doing everything out of the oh, box fuck. every time i try to do something and try to protect you all you do is just talk and talk and talk and you don't see that i'm trying to use code to protect you well if we're going to use code you could find a way to get that to me in such a way that i know what's going on i keep saying stuff and trying to show you stuff but it's like you you don't know military training bro because i keep saying stuff and saying lenny lenny that's supposed to mean, Lenny, cut the argument. Once you hear me call your name three times, that means cut the argument. And you still debate on stuff. In what military? If you ever know about special seals, special seals have a code. Once I call your name three times, that means to cut the argument short. Oh, okay. I can understand that. If I call your, if I call your name five times, that means to change the topic. I thought you know all of these tricks and trades, but... I guess you're not picking up, and now I have to be talking the secret out in which I shouldn't have been doing this. Well, I but really... Because you're not... All right. I understand, I understand, I understand, but you need to learn. Once you see me calling you so many times or saying certain kind of things to you, that means to cut the argument because someone is listening to our calls. Okay, well, maybe we should maybe we should start talking in Pig Latin or something. Are you familiar with Pig Latin? No, I'm not familiar with Pig Latin, but okay. uh, I can learn. Or if you can, if you can, if you can email, if you can email in certain kind of language, I can translate it. Okay, yeah, because we have to find a way to communicate to keep Mister uh, What's His Name and his lackeys. Um, you know, if indeed what you're telling me is correct, then Mister So and So and his lick spittle are uh, are a problem. Um, I I just want to get this. Done. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm trying to I'm trying to protect everything, but I can't be back and forth with you telling you everything. And then when I'm telling you everything, you're saying it out loud. So anybody that is listening on the call knows exactly what we're doing. I keep on repeating it this afternoon. Mr. O'Connell is coming to see you with my guy. I will not call my guy's name and I will not say anything else. And I repeat it three times. 
and you still keep on asking me the question. <sighs> but see, you weren't clear with me, and that was the problem that we're having. You got to remember, I'm an old man, and I've, I've got to touch a touch of memory issue as well. So we do have to find a way. I know. We, yeah, we do uh, have to find a way to communicate. Yeah, we do have to find a way to communicate. So that's that's right. But you have to learn the codes. There are codes behind what I say. Okay. So like when you hear me call your name three times, there's a code. Okay. When I call your name five times, that's a code. When I call your name eight times, it's another code. So you have to just understand when I'm saying certain stuff. And if, I, if you hear me say something one time and you hear me not say anything else on it, and then you hear me repeat it after like 10 or 20 minutes again, that means it's time to drop the conversation. Is that why sometimes it always seems like you're talking out of both sides of your ass because you're trying to um, you're trying to make this cryptic? That's what I'm trying to do all this time. That's what I've been trying to do. Okay. All this time that we're talking, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. That's why I keep repeating certain stuff and I keep saying certain stuff over and over. Because okay. I'm trying to let you know that someone is catching in on our phone calls. Okay. And when they catch in on the phone calls, that's how they track us. And that's how they know what we're doing. That's how they try to rip you off. I always be telling you, man, I'm smarter than how you think. You notice you feel you're feeling much better since you start eating the garlic, right? Honestly, it's been, uh, yeah, but my heartburn, man. Heartburn has been horrible. Heart yeah, I know. My heartburn's been horrible, and the other problem I'm having is with my pecker. Unfortunately, with my pecker and the garlic, they don't they don't get along either. Yeah, I know. That's that. that um, that's been that's been the problem, and I I even got garlic hung around the house, man. I just don't want any, you know, I don't don't want any issues with any of that stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. You know. I know, my friend. But have you ever eaten asparagus? Uh, a long time ago. Okay, because, well, asparagus... All right, uh, you notice when we talk... Let me ask you a question. You notice when we talk, when we say certain things, you notice certain things sounds back in the phone? No, I didn't notice any of that. All right, you noticed that a while ago? You just said something and it echoed back in the phone. You heard that? I did not. I didn't hear it, honestly. If I did, I would have, uh, you know. But, no, I was asking you about asparagus. We were talking about the garlic and whatnot and the stuff that this and that and the other is causing me some problems. Have you have you ever eaten asparagus? You know you know what asparagus is? Yes, I heard of it, but uh, um, I had tasted it a long time back when I was a kid. And you didn't like it? I didn't like it, but uh, um, they said that it was good for us. They said that it was good for us, so we know, had to take it. it. It's very good. The problem is it makes your pee smell something terrible, okay? Um, it, okay. It just, it's, it's horrific the way it makes your piss smell. It's terrible. Well, the problem I'm having with the garlic, and I'm having some issues at the, at the, um, at the senior center I hang out at, right? is because like i said the uh, you know yeah. i think i think you said it was the bell the voodoo you know was was acting like viagra for uh, me okay well yes yes okay well the problem i'm having with the garlic now is that the voodoo obviously is still working because my uh, my junk is still working but the women folk are not happy some of the women folk not all of them but some of the women folk are not happy because uh, now I have a uh, I have a smell of garlic and certain things taste like garlic. If you understand what I'm saying. Yes. And 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 th and they don't like that. So we really got to figure out how to get this voodoo taken care of without the garlic. All right. All right. Or or we have to find a way to make certain things taste better because I, I I had heard that pineapple juice works. So I started. Uh, I started eating pineapple at the, out of the uh, out of the um, then then it was uh, they just said it tasted like uh, pineapple-y garlic and that ain't no good either. Okay. So is that something you can help me with? All right. Can, can you help me figure out how to get that problem solved? Because I understand the I understand the garlic is a must and we have to have the garlic deal with the uh, um, you know with the voodoo and everything, right? The cleansing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cleansing. You just say cleansing. No need to call certain things. Oh, out. I'm just sorry. Say okay, cleansing. cleansing. Cleansing is the code word for the V word that I was yeah. just okay. Good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleansing. All right. Now refresh me. You said uh, you said uh, it, when you say my name three times, it means cut the argument. Okay, and then when you say my name five times, it means don't relate to the argument again. And when you say my so name, right? Eight if times. I say it once. We cut the argument totally. totally. Not saying it anymore. We are not okay. 
totally. We, we right. don't bring that up anymore. Okay, so then when it comes to when it comes to the time that we're going to meet and whatnot, we probably got to put a code together for that too. So should we make it, um, you know, should we make it plus three or minus two, um, you know, from the time? So like for example, if you was to say two p.m., it'd really be five p.m. Um, or we could do it minus two. So if you said, if you wanted to meet at five and you said three, uh, you know, should we do minus or should we do plus? How do we, how do we do that so that we make sure we're on time for our meetings? Plus, plus is a good way. Okay. All right. So we should go plus three, right? Nah. Or two. Uh, let me say. Seven plus plus seven. Two. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So so plus. Okay. So. Well. Oh God, that's going to be confusing now because you're going to have to say my name five times in order for me to know what. You know what? There's an idea. Why don't you just say my name the amount of times that it comes down to whatever time we need to meet? Okay. That's okay. That's another way. Okay. So, like, for example, right now it is six, it, well, it's seven. I can't even read. It's 722 where I am. Uh, so, let's, you know, hypothetically speaking, if we was going to meet at 10 o'clock tonight, right? You would just say my yeah, name. Yeah, I would just hey, call hey, you. Hey, hey Lenny, Lenny, we're going to meet, Lenny. we're going to meet at uh, Lenny, 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 10 times. Yeah. Love it. I think that'll work fine. Should we have All righty. Should we so. have now you laugh about this, but the, um, should we have a code word? Because you had the um, we 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 got fucked on that last time where Tanko had the code word that I thought you had and you didn't have it and whatnot. So maybe you and I should have a code word. Garlic. No, I don't like garlic because garlic is actually related to something else we got going on here. How about how about milk crate? <laughs> milk crate. Milk crate. Milk crate. Yes, sir. That sounds like it. Okay, so from now on, when you're calling me or I'm calling you, whoever answers the phone needs to say milk crate. All right. And then if you have anybody calling me, right, you have to give them the same toad. I'll... And then they have to say, Alex says milk crate. That's right. Perfect. All right, man. Let us reconvene tomorrow and sort this whole goddamn thing out then. All right, no problem, no problem. And you need to go to you need to go to State Bank tomorrow and let Mr. Anthony, Mr. Don know that you want your fifty thousand that he didn't pay to my people. Well, that we have to work on because he's telling me he uh, that was paid, and I can't just it take did your, not pay. Well, but I but but I don't have any way of knowing that other than you know if he's got to sign paperwork that says it was paid, then he's got the paperwork, and what do I do? We're going to have to get Agent O'Connell involved in that, okay? That's what we're going to have to do. All right. So we'll get that sorted out, and I'm not going to let that hold us up tomorrow as long as we've got our um, code word and everything, okay? So tomorrow morning. All right. No problem. Tomorrow morning after we get up and we handle our business in the morning and do what we need to do, uh, then we I'll can. I'll contact you and let you know what. Yes. Sounds like a plan, man. All right. Alex, I really appreciate you. I, I understand that you and I haven't been communicating well lately and we've been pissing each other off. It's good that we can have a conversation as professionals and we can work together as men to get this squared away. That's what I'm saying. And I'm glad that we're coming to an agreement once more. We're going to dot our I's, cross our T's. You're going to get your money and I'm going to get what I got coming to me. That's correct, sir. Sounds good, man. We'll talk tomorrow. All right, my friend. Have Bye. a good night. Bye.